Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you a neat little AI tool that you can use with Shout CNUI. And it's really ideal if you're not so much of a designer and also if you don't wanna choose between the default themes that Shad CNUI provide to you, you can use this cool little Chrome plugin. I actually got an email off the creator of this. It's called Design GUI. I'm pretty sure the creator of this plugin, James, has emailed a bunch of YouTubers, but I actually read the email that he sent out highlighting his Design GUI tool. And I thought I'd try it out and I tried it out and I actually really liked it because I'm not particularly that great at design and choosing colors and things like that. I'm not bad, but I wouldn't say I'm particularly great at it. If I can find a tool that will do it for me, then by all means, I'm gonna use that tool, especially if it's a really easy to use tool. And this tool, the Design GUI tool, works for both Shad CNUI and Daisy UI. However, I'm going to be using it for Shad CNUI. And I've got an example of Shad CNUI project here. And if we open up the tool in Chrome, the Chrome extension, we get presented with the user interface. So it's already noted that we've got a bunch of CSS variables here with all of their values. And the beauty of this tool is we can change the value of these CSS variables with this nice UI and see what it looks like in our project in real time. Now, I know we could have just gone into the Chrome DevTools and changed the value of the CSS variables ourselves. However, it's really nice to have a user interface like this that we can play around with. Also, I'll show you how to generate color palettes with this tool. It's really, really easy. So if we wanted to change the primary color, I've got the primary color here set to pink 500, the Tailwind CSS pink 500. All we need to do is select the primary color here. We can scroll down and we can edit the primary color. We can choose any color we like from the color picker here, or we could choose a Tailwind CSS preset. So for example, if I wanted lime here, we can see what it looks like in real time. So I'm gonna quickly change one more value as well. For example, if we hover over any of these colors here, I'm going to choose the ring color here. So the ring color is the color that outlines anytime we focus in on a particular input or tab into a particular input. So I'm gonna change the ring color here and let's change it to something like this crazy blue. Now let's see what happens. And there we go, it updates on our page so we can see what that preview looks like. Now, if we were happy with the results that we've edited using the design GUI interface, all we need to do is select this icon here and we get presented with all the values for the CSS variables. All we need to do is copy these values and paste it into our globals.css file. However, there is one more side to this tool and that is the generate with AI. So this is really cool. If we hit go here, I'm gonna paste in my OpenAI key. And of course, I'm gonna delete this key after this video. However, if we hit save on here, what we can do is enter a prompt that will generate a color palette for us. So for example, if I said something like, generate a color palette for a garden center, hopefully it'll bring back some nice greens and things like that. Scroll right down to the bottom then and hit go. Once it's finished generating, there we go. We can see all of the colors that were generated. I think this looks pretty cool to be honest. And it's not something that I probably would have come up with by myself. And we can see as well, if we tab in, we've got the nice ring outlines. We've got as well the secondary hover color for our secondary buttons here. I'm gonna show you in this example project, a bit more of a completed example and actually a dashboard example. So we can see here, all of our dashboard colors have updated using this prompt. So we can just exit out of here and we can see our swatch has updated, our color palettes has updated. All we need to do then is export these CSS variables, copy and paste these into our project. And of course, if we weren't happy with these color palettes, we can just delete these and start from scratch. So it's a really simple tool, but I really like it. And to be honest, I really like it when I see tools like this, when it's just created by one person and it's a little side project by one person, especially a tool that works really well, like this one. Also as well, one thing I didn't mention is you can check to see how accessible your color contrasts are. So for example, if you didn't have enough contrast between a primary color and a primary foreground, then the score would fail. So anyway, that's pretty much it. This pretty much covers the design GUI tool. I thought it was a really cool tool after trying it out. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. 